Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be looking at AMC Entertainment, ticker symbol AMC and Ape. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how Credit Suisse admits meme stock caused them to lose money. We're also going to be looking at how hedge funds are now unable to borrow more money to be shorting AMC and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. As always, we're going to be taking a look quickly at the chart for AMC. So the market is still ongoing, which is why we're not going to take a deeper dive. But like we said, we want to see AMC close above the 422 and 416. If we are able to get and close above this area, of course, with volume, then we will be in a very good area. But if not, like I said, again, even if we close above with low volume, it's still very good. It's just that it's not as strong of an indication, but that's essentially what we want to see. If we take a look at Ape, on the other hand, with Ape, what we have to understand is that we have a resistance coming in at 148 and 154 and that's where we want to obviously look out for so far we're up three percent for the day if we are able to get a you know a bigger close with volume coming in as well and at the end of the week close above 148 and 154 that would be extremely good but again let's talk about the news for amc today now this is the first bit of news which is what from um, unusual words we talked about whoa a reporter asked credit Suisse cs chairman who is responsible for this disaster now for a segment of it he says last autumn we had a social media storm i'm going to play the video if you guys want to watch the whole video feel free to check it out in the description but this is only for a segment of the video we had this social media storm and this had huge repercussions so as you guys can see in that very short seven second clip, he obviously talks about the social media storm and how he had huge repercussions. And again, one of the information we know about Credit Suisse is obviously their affiliation with GameStop, their affiliation with AMC. Now with GameStop, that is of course we have talked about and uh, now it's not totally relevant with this video because they actually also have affiliation with AMC, which is what we are actually gonna be looking at. Essentially, we know that they have of course the fourth biggest dark pool for AMC. This is something we've discussed in the past, but also the fact of their short positions in AMC. We've known multiple times with their put positions in AMC, we've known their shorts in AMC, and again, how they bash AMC. At one point, they gave AMC a price target of $0.95. That still remains the target to this day, but again, what we can see is that they are obviously not in the situation to be saying that for AMC right now. But this is a very, very big and clear indication, at least from this segment of the video, we understand that AMC, GME, or any of these meme stocks, quote unquote, has actually damaged these firms. As we know, Credit Suisse is, of course, in a dire situation. Now, I'm not saying that this is the sole reason for why Credit Suisse is, of course, in this current situation. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the only reason because of how big of a impact it can have. But again, it definitely is part of the reasons that it's, of course, damaging these firms. And this won't be the first firm to be damaged by AMC Shorts, to be damaged by GME Search or any of these quote unquote meme stocks. So again, we are knowing the power that we have right now over these firms whilst they make it look like amc is dropping whilst they make it look like amc is all sun and sunshine for them and is raining for us is bad for us we are actually seeing the effects of amc short sellers and the situations they've put themselves in you know if we take a look from um jan jack who talked about from the bankruptcy of ftx official to the collapse of silicon valley bank and credit swiss there is no doubt that we are in the middle of a banking crisis which is the endemic to the fed zero interest rate policy and the bankrupt um, economic model is intended to maintain now the reason why I want to talk about this, the reason why I wanted to cover about this is because we know the current situation. So again, we've seen from AMC, uh, obviously over here back in November, what happened with, um, of course, FTX. And then fast forward, we then see uh, Silicon Valley Bank. And now we're seeing Credit Suisse. And again, this is just like he says, there is no doubt in the middle of a banking crisis. Now, the reason why this is relevant is will be what we talked about at the start of the video, how hedge funds or any firms are not able to borrow more money to be shorting AMC. We have already seen in the past before, AMC shorts was deemed as a action that was very risky. However, because of the market situation, because of how much money they were making, they obviously allow these firms to over leverage 
a large amount onto creating these AMC shorts to be shorting on AMC. Now, coming fast forward to where we are right now with the current situation that all these banks are in and how AMC shorts have proved to actually not be profitable for them, but actually burning them, we are seeing a place where it's very unlikely, it's getting less and less likely for firms to be able to borrow money with the intent of shorting AMC. I'm not saying they're not able to borrow any money at all, but if the reason for borrowing money is to be shorting AMC, we're definitely going to be looking at that reason not being able to pass through and seeing firms unable to be shorting on AMC with, of course, money borrowed from banks. If they have their own money, they can, of course, steal AMC. But if they want to over leverage and make and borrow billions upon billions to be shorting AMC, to be creating AMC synthetics, that is going to become very, very unlikely. And as time goes by with all of these things happening, it's just going to become more and more unlikely, you know. Something that we have talked about for years is that Apes have been posting about over leveraged banks and hedge funds like to go down for years. Only now, the mainstream economists and Twitter finance experts are saying the same thing. So this is something we have been talking about for a very long time. But just like how Christopher has laid it out, it's only now the mainstream economists and again, these Twitter financial experts are talking about it. But the reason why this is important is because the more and more people talk about it, obviously the more obvious it is the more you know visible it is to everyone we have been talking about this for time but not only that the reason why this is important is because of the fact that if these over ledger banks go down if these hedge funds got um, go down that is what will ultimately lead to of course the squeeze of amc that's what will lead to the be the shorts covered on amc and so when we take a look at this we understand that more and more things are coming true more and more of what we talked about of what we want to see are of course coming true so whilst the price is down at 422 for amc whilst we are seeing the price declining when you look at actually the factors that will cause amc squeeze it's becoming more and more likely that amc will squeeze the factors we have laid out for amc squeezing has always been firms going down banks going down they are no longer able to contain you know large amounts of amc shorts it has never been if amc hits ten dollars will squeeze if amc hits twenty dollars will squeeze if amc hits thirty dollars will squeeze that has never been the reason but when we look at what is happening now even though we are seeing the factors coming true but people are panicking because they're seeing price go down which is again nothing that we have talked about and that's what these firms want to create they want to give this effect of price going down for amc so the squeeze is not going to happen even though in the background we have banks going down we have over leverage shorts need to be covered we have ftds etc etc and so we are seeing more and more and again you know this is something that chris Bullsa also said is that shorts won't cover most shorts until force with market cr crash below 300 spire or recovery after said crash in 2024 if a soft landing is achieved we can move up gradually too it is possible to keep pumping market with crypto interest rates to reverse um course so it's just like he says Shorts won't be forced, um, won't cover at least all of the shares until they are forced. But what will force them is, of course, the market crash, which is exactly what we're seeing right now. And again, highlighting is not that shorts will cover if AMC hits 20, shorts will not cover if it hits 30. Now, I definitely do think with the price of AMC going up, it may be a situation where firms are saying the first one out of obviously have to lose the lease so that could potentially have be a reason but that has never been the biggest factor that in fact that's never been a factor we have talked about so please make sure we are of course focusing on the main reason and you know this is just to look at it um, from amc to moo who showing the picture of what credit Suisse previously said credit Suisse says that sells amc they predict stock headed to 95 cents but what we can see now is of course ubs is officially buying you Credit Suisse for 0.54 per share, a 73% discount. So again, you know, UBS is now buying CS for a bigger discount than JP Morgan paid for Bear Stearns in 2008. Credit Suisse must be serious trouble. And we know that. And we also know reasons for why they are in such serious trouble. We know about, you know, in terms of the swaps, in terms of the short positions they're in, in terms of the dark pool, all of this for Credit Suisse. And so this is one of what I think to be the first piece of the domino to be falling, to begin to trigger all of the squeeze happening. And 
when we take a look at, of course, what we talked about earlier in terms of, um, you know, the market crash, where we're seeing this time from Game of Trade, we talked about this time, it's not different, where he laid out the 1973 crash, the 2008 crash, and where we are right now, and all three times right now, so the first two crashes, we obviously had the bull trap before we see the price decline. Right now, we are seeing the same similar bull trap happening and again data is very very important to be looking at and so it is of course showing data from the past where a crash has happened not saying that this is definitely happening but previous data has supported this anyway guys this is it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to press a like and subscribe button down below and i'll catch you guys next time